A major breakthrough for the two to three million people in the U.S. with a chronic condition called vitiligo. The FDA has approved the first drug that reverses the effects of the skin disorder. Maury Glover has more on what this means for the local vitiligo community. It's slowly pro progressed with me. It's um, each, each year a little more pigment has left my body. For Alicia Roofs, growing up with vitiligo meant being bullied and called names on a regular basis. But now there's a way to bring back some color to the white patches that cover her body. As somebody who had it as a child to being on the ground floor of a FDA approved drug, it, it's um, a dream come true. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that causes the skin to lose pigment. On Monday, the FDA approved the first ever drug to reverse vitiligo called Absolura, which is already on the market to treat eczema. Vitiligo has been an orphan disease. There have been very few treatments that have been effective. Patients are often told that there's nothing to do or that it's just cosmetic. And we know that it really affects patient self-esteem. It can increase cancers and rashes in the area because there's no pigment to protect people. The cream, which requires a prescription and has to be applied twice a day, stops a protein that destroys the cells that make pigment. Until now, the only other treatment for vitiligo approved by the FDA was skin bleaching, like Michael Jackson did, to make the rest of the body match the white spots rather than repigmenting the skin like Absolura does. When we see faster repigmentation potentially on the face areas with more hair follicles because the hair follicles are the reserve of the stem cells. So it might be a little faster on your face, a little slower on your hand where there's less hair follicles. This is kind of a scrapbook we've put together of just things that have happened over the years with vitiligo. Roofs was part of a patient advisory panel that helped the company that makes Absolura present it to the vitiligo community. But she believes it's a medical breakthrough that could restore more than just color to the lives of the people who have the chronic skin disorder. This is groundbreaking. This is history. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. Maury Glover, Fox 9. Monkey